With almost 500 sessions in X2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see Don't Get Fished, Authentication Best Practices, then stay tuned because here's the rewind. Listen, nobody actually likes passwords. They're hard to remember, easy to lose, and don't protect us all that well. Not to mention, people are really bad at picking passwords too. I mean, just look at the most popular passwords in 2015. Not very hard to guess, are they? Have you used one of these? If not, I bet some of the people you're trying to protect are using them right now. And 2018 doesn't really get much better. Maybe we shouldn't be trusting people to keep passwords safe at all. Turns out they aren't very good at resisting phishing attempts. It's especially easy to get someone to fall prey to a phishing attack with a false sense of urgency, such as a fake, your account is at risk, email. Then somebody will spend less time checking for signs of a fake site and just rush to complete the form. <sighs> to help keep you and your people safe, Google will stop these login attempts automatically when we notice the pattern deviates from your normal behavior, but it's not perfect. This problem is better suited to a hardware and software solution. And Google has some ideas to make the password both safer and less critical to the login process. To start, adding any second factor is better than none at all. Many people use a one-time password already, and that is a security improvement, but these are still fishable, especially via SMS. And the physical fobs that give you a six-digit code are expensive and fragile. Besides, if you've seen that friend carrying 10 or 20 fobs on a necklace just to get access to the various systems they use at work, you can see how it doesn't scale. We prefer Security Key as a second layer of defense in front of your account. The keys use open cryptography standards similar to public key encryption and are physical devices like this, which you register to your account and use to prove that you are you. When you're logging in, the security key does two important things. One, it tells the server that a person actually sat at the keyboard for this login because you have to touch the key to activate it so we can stop automated script-based attacks. Two, it goes through a challenge response handshake with the server and will only complete a login with the appropriate backend. So if you go to a cleverly disguised phishing site that tries to steal your login credentials, the security key will fail to authenticate you. We've mandated security keys for all Google employees, and they've shown tremendous effectiveness at preventing account compromise. We also see a faster time to log in, so we're actually making people more efficient and more secure at the same time. And we see fewer support incidents with security keys compared to one-time password fobs. Lucky for you, the exact same capabilities can be yours. G Suite administrators can enable or require security keys for accounts in your domain. We highly recommend security keys to help you secure your high value accounts, including executives and domain super admins. To learn more about how you can use security keys, how Google secures employee accounts, and to see an exciting new kind of security key, check out the link in the description below for the full talk. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more Next Rewind videos.